So it is the judgment of the NASCAR stewards that they will get the car off the course and once again slow the field with a caution flag. It comes out on lap number 48. We'll be right back in just a moment. Here's point where pit stops are being made with Bill Elliott in the pits, Mark Martin moving back out on the racetrack. Here is Dale Earnhardt moving back out. A lot of activity on pit road. Jeff Bodine is in it. Look at the damage there on the left side. It looks like that he must have hit the 26 car, a tire or something on the 26 car. Yeah, I think Ricky Rudd had just got oh, just uh, headed Mark out. Mark Martin's Mark Martin on his road. And here goes the tire down, pit, uh, down the racetrack. Mark Martin's car has overturned. There's Mark Martin. Out of the car. Boy. Well, yeah, but he'd like to turn that thing back over. He said, I bet it'll run if I can get it turned back over and get it back to the pits, and it might just do it. It doesn't have a tire. I guess that's Mark Martin's tire because there isn't a tire on the other side of the automobile. Well, maybe he left the pits a little too early. Oh, man, no. We just Quite saw him break. leaving the pits uh, a couple of seconds ago, but he has overturned the car in corner number one under caution. Mark is walking off crossing the racetrack he obviously is okay but what a scary moment it must have been for mark martin we have a replay of what happened mark martin the wheel comes off he gets off the course and gets up on the bank gets those tires ned was talking about and it just upsets the car and flips it right over on its roof his wheel was off. Just so stays the, right there. Yeah, the wheel obviously came off of the car as he was exiting pit road, and Mark is running back to the pit area. So obviously he is in fine shape, but oh. the pit crew is... I bet you he changes the left rear tire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that was a tough break. Mark's running back there and say, hey, if they can get that car back in here, we can get it, we can still run some. But the problem is, why didn't he stay there and, and guide the wrecker and get yeah. the car turned back over? Yeah. That's a good point. I don't know. Or maybe he's coming back to, to get the crew. Here's Rudd. What's he doing stopping all oh, the car? Ricky Rudd is right here in front of us on they the race track. like the race. Or well, let's go to Jerry Punch. Maybe he can explain what's going on. Well, Mark came running back in here with both hands in the air and just simply said, what happened to Steve Meal? And they're trying to explain to him what happened, partly a problem with the tire or maybe the air gun back there in the right rear. But Mark obviously out of breath from running back out here and, and uh, hot on the collar as well as being hot a little bit about uh, what happened, discussing things with the crew members and apparently a disappointing day for Mark Mark. Why, why is Ricky Rudd sitting on the racetrack? I don't understand why Rudd... But he's apparently waiting for the pace car to come around. Oh, I it's see. in corner number 11 right now. Rudd is here on what we will term the front stretch, which is right here in front of our broadcast position. But he does have a considerable amount of damage on the right front of that car, we presume, from where he hit Jeff Bodine here in the pits. Yeah, I think that was the situation. And here, here, here is. is Ricky Rudd about to leave the pits as Jeff Bodine comes in. Oh, yeah. They do make contact. That is from the crew cam, worn wow. by Joey Knuckles. That's how it looked, wow, from his vantage point. Well, thanks, Joey, for pointing that thing in the right direction at the moment. They are writing the car of Mark Martin. Let's go to Jerry Punch, who's with Mark. First, first of all, Mark, you okay? I'm fine. What happened? Flip. <laughs> <laughs> I left the pits here, and uh, the left rear wheel came off, and the car flew out of control, and... Uh, got on the tires or something, flipped, turned upside down. It wasn't, wasn't a bad deal. It was an easy, easy roll. It just real unfortunate for the Stroh's Light team. Uh, we, weren't supposed to, we weren't supposed to change any tires. We were just going to gas and go, and that's what we did, and somehow the nuts got taken off to the left rear. So a communications problem here in the Stroh's Light pits, and it will cost Mark Martin a shot at victory today. Gentlemen? Mark Martin will undoubtedly win a Winston Cup race this year. He has come so close. The car has run so well this year, but it's all over for him today here at Sears Point. He's a very dejected and unhappy young man after having rolled over in turn one. Point, there's the number 40 car driven by Darren Brassfield, who uh, won on this racetrack earlier uh, this year, in fact, in May in an SCCA Trans Am race. That's got Dale Earnhardt on the back. Dale back. Earnhardt Chevrolet in Newton, North Carolina. Look at this guy. This hey, is Tarzan. Any place you can get a good vantage point, and this young man has found a, apparently a He's very good one. He's waiting to you, Jenkins. Waiting to you. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there are 
lots of people here today. Look at that grandstand. It's full. They're standing all along the uh, course here. It is a beautiful day in the northern portion of California. Well, communications with a driver. It is a lot different than it was a few years ago. And 